What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is No One Shell coming right back at you with another Star Trek Fleet Command video. Today, we're going to talk about a few things. We're going to talk about the Black Jellyfish, or the ISS Jellyfish, or whatever you want to call it. We're going to talk about the changes, a few of the changes in the game that are noticeable and some of the hiccups we dealt with. But I got to give uh, Epic Tetis a good shout out because he provided me a lot of the pictures and a video of the ISS Black Jellyfish. And... Mm, it is a mean monster. I got the pictures of it. I got the pictures of the build. I got a picture of the firing pattern. And I have a picture of it of attacking and its special dailies. And apparently there's an event that comes along with it actually having it. So, the beginning of this one I want to talk about is that we, uh, we had a few hiccups. Some of the overhauls weren't showing for some players. And... I know it's in the works for them to actually get the overhauls working. So there was a Braille overhaul I had, the Bordis, the Saladin, and the Centurion. Those are the overhauls that I saw. Some players didn't see them when they had the Saladin or Flower. I don't think there's a Flower one, was there? Let me check again. There wasn't a Flower one. And then the other one was the Mirror Mirror event. So for this one, you had the completed Mirror Mirror Part 5. You had complete uh, interdimensional fugitive, and then you had complete the supernova of Romulus. So the first one we had here was the complete the mirror mirror, which was the free to play one, and the last two are the paid one pays ones. So they're twenty dollars, and you get another four more tokens to complete the mirror mirror three other times, four other times, whatever it is. And I hear the rewards progressively get better as you re as you do them, as you like redo the mission over and over again, and. These two are supposed to be what they call early access. So eventually, they're going to become free, the one you pay for $20. It'll become free. The pack's not bad in my opinion. It's not horrible. It's $20, and it comes with a decent amount of stuff in it. I just wanted to clear that part out. And then let's go to the event store. So for me, I have Uncommon Gas. I have the normal Uncommons, and I have Enterprise Blueprints, Intrepid, Burrell, Antares, Kavor, Hijack Legionary, Devor. There's Marcus, Kang, Char... Bach, Yuki, Krell, Pauzao, Fog, Severus, the yeah, Ultra Recruit Tokens, Premium Recruit Tokens, the Normal Resource Pulls, Explorer Parts, Battleship Parts, Interceptor Parts, Survey Parts, and then this one. This one. Don't buy this one. This is like buying the $100 uh, Vault of Latinum pack. Waste the waste the race of it. Don't touch this one. Even if you're in need for Dill. Or, deal, or, wow, I can't talk around Latinum. But, the one thing they took out of this pack was Tal. Not Tal, a uh, pack, I mean event, they took was Tal out. Because that he was bugged somehow that he had the original Augur buff. So, they're in the things of fixing him. They disabled his event only for Armadas. If whoever got him, I did. Um, he still does work, but not on Armadas. The thing I'm working for right now is Hijack Legionary. I got 44 out of 80 blueprints. I know I'm so high level, I just... I just want the pretty ship. I just want the pretty ship. If not, I'd be working for the Intrepid. Because these ships got a massive buff and became really useful all over again. Which is nice. And check this. My uh, Intrepid, or my Intrepid, my Braille before was uh, about 800k. Now it's 1600. And my Sally was like 840. Now it's 1500. My Braille has become my power horse. My miners have went up. Only ship that I haven't seen go up is the... Franklin, I wish it was because I want to take down those level 35 swarm. I haven't really did any testing behind it yet, so we got to work with what we have currently. And why is my screen so funky right now? Let me fix that for you guys. Let's stretch it out for you guys. There we go. That's better. And then before we get into the meat and potatoes, I'll show you uh, Tal. Let's already have him. And we'll look at his abilities and go over it. I'm not really sure what he does yet. I haven't really did any much testing behind him. Or talk to many people who has. His, his original ability is when fighting a battleship, Tal increases the weapon damage by 20%. So, it seems like when he's on a interceptor, he's going to become pretty meaty. Like his damage output is captured, but I still want to use it. But burning wise, it's kind of cool. As long as the opponent's ship is burning, Tal decreases its hull health by 5%. That's spot on cool. That's cool about it. And then now let's take a look at the black jellyfish or the iss jellyfish this is what a lot of you guys want to see and i have a lot of info behind it 
So, let's look at the details on it. I don't really care about the damages right now. So, Lassus Jellyfish is a testament to its technology and powers of the Terran Empire. Far more versatility than the counterpart uh, uh, in our universe. The jellyfish uses the experimental dark matter warp drive capable of traveling vast distances quickly and without appearing on any enemy scanners. Originally, it was intended as an espionage vessel. It allows the Empire to spy on the Allies the route uh, out dis uh, distant before it began. It is also equipped with a powerful T-38 disruptor cannon, making more than capable of the uh, wiping out rebellious activity whenever it is encountered. The ISS Jellyfish is able to be the pride of the Terran Empire, a symbol of cunning and omnis omnisicent omnipotence. I can't even say that word right now. However, the Empire never came into possession of the ship Spock had or other pl uh, of his prized creations. God, this ship is amazing looking. And then we have... The ISS Jellyfish gains additional 15% bonus damage at the start of every combat round. This bonus stacks with no limit. So, if you look at it... Sorry, I got a tag in something. Let me look. Da -da -da. Nothing that matters with me. If you look at that, it's like having Decius on a ship. Hit, having Decius in that, dude, this ship's going to be gnarly. As long as it got out last rounds, that damage is going to progressively get more and more damaging. Now let's take a look at what Epictetus sent me. And we can go. Actually, no, we have, I have a video we're going to go over first. So let me move, pull that back down, go to the main. Let's go to the video that they were posted on their Facebook and Twitter page. Wow, that's loud. Let's open it up. Let me turn the volume a little bit down. And then let's start from the scratch. It's beginning. Come on, give me number one. Is that a suggestion it's going to be really useful for armadas? That's what it's looking like. All right, and now let's look. So we have the few beginning screens. Like we have this one, a Spock versus evil Spock, ISS Spock. Then we have our initial one of the ISS jellyfish that exclusively through the events will qualify for the lead tournament and it says must be 38 pilot to get. But your 36 is where you can earn it. And then we have the normal one, which is the Mirror Mirror event, which goes on to the 29th. So this event's going to go for a while. And then let's look at the station view of the ship that was pr uh, provided by Epi Epictetus. It's hard. It's so hard to say. That ship is so good looking at station. It is beautiful. You bet not many people can get it, but... God, it is a gorgeous ship. I know people want to see it. That is just amazing. There's some of the stats. If you want to read them, slow it down. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to let you guys do see it. You probably can't even see because my big head's in the way. So, oh well. And there's the read we already did. Oh well, we don't really need that right now. I read that already. You guys can scroll through the stats on the other screen. So, there is a video of that. Let's look at the video of the firing pattern of it. I almost clicked the screen trying to get away from the hostile. I had a moment. But God, its fight scenes are badass. But look at the, it even has animation in space. You see the, the rear spinning still. And its firing is different, like the, what it fires out. Like, remember that glitch that we had where we're shooting purple rounds? There we go. We have a ship that actually does it. God, that is a gorgeous ship. That is a good fight. So we have that. And then he tried to take a picture of it coming out of dock, and this is what he got. I guess the screen didn't, or his uh, phone didn't like it. And then now let's go into the meat and potatoes. Let's get to the tier one cost. So tier, oh, so here's a base picture of it at tier one. Then we have, so all the resources you see here are actually G4. And I'm not sure, I never asked if the explorer part is G4, which I believe, but this is a whale ship, so. The prices are going to be out there. He told me he used Latinum to get it to tier 2. But there's other ways of getting stuff that way. And I'll show you what they are. For the whales that get the ship. 
They'll see it. They'll love it. It's an expensive upgrade path. Let's go to the next one, the tier two. This one was provided by, let me grab his name off Discord because he posted, uh, K14, or K14S. It was provided by him. He posted in the Discord, which was cool of him. So it looks like it amps up. Wow. I didn't even notice that when I looked at it. So look at, there's rare, there's uncommon parts, and then you have the common parts. Ooh, that's a, a good hint once coming to the future of this game. And then this is G4 right here. Epic, or Epic G4. It's just G4 uh, uncommons. God. And it's at 3 million power where it's at. That is gnarly. And then its ability at tier 2 is ISS Jellyfish additional 24% at the start of each round. The bonus doesn't... Ugh, that's getting... That's bad. That's all kinds of, like, nasty. So, the firing pattern is... Four, five, four. Initially shot is four. Next round is five. Next round is four. That's what Epic told me. So just so you guys can see that, oh, I should zoom it in for you guys. Nope, not wrong zoom. There you go. Some of you guys will enjoy that. And then on top of that, there are dailies for it. So when they unlock the, it looks like an event, but they call it the dailies. So when you unlock the ISS Jellyfish, this is how you get the um, resources for it right now. The ISS Jellyfish is yours command to destroy the hostile in the Feria, uh, Feria system and gain necessary material to upgrade your devastating vessel. So this system is where they have to hunt for it, this stuff. So let's zoom back out since my computer doesn't like the zoom function. So this is what they're getting for their rewards for it, which are amazing. This is all G4 stuff. This is a great, great gift for them. And we'll look at the Feria system after we're done with this one. Come on, go to the next picture. That was the last one. And then apparently there's a, an event they have too. Let me find it. So here's the other event that they have for it is the powerful vessel that the galaxy is yours command. Upgrading, cut that out quick. The most powerful vessel in the galaxy is yours, Command. Upgrade the ISS Jellyfish by dominating the event. So it's a tier up event for it. They wanted to get to its max tier. If anyone didn't know, it's max tiers four. And that's it. And they have 10 days to do it. Maybe with those events, they can do it. We can, we'll see what happens in the game. Let's go take a look at the Faria system. Let me close that out. Why did it lose my game? There we go. Wait, what the, what in the heck? It doesn't want to show it. Uh, oh, cause I blinked it out, duh. So let's go find the system. I got to look it up on another screen though. Cause I need to see what system it was in. Cause I have a bad memory pattern when it comes down to it. Come on, let me find it. Let me find it. You just see me get, you just see me struggle for a minute. And then, sorry for the dead silence. Let's search for the area. FRR Korea. I don't know if I even can get out there. Maybe, yeah, I can. It's a blank system. That's odd. So we have 1139 out there, which is Don't Poke the Bear, which he's one of our big guys who actually got the jellyfish on the server. Am I lucky to see it? Nope, got his Enterprise, and he's out there hunting for those hostiles for that event. So he doesn't have the ship out there yet. But that's where it is, to get the parts for it. I wanted to go over that in the video. I gotta give a big shout out to Epictetus to actually showing it off for us and giving us the information on it and getting us the videos on it, which is just amazing of him to do. This event is I, I actually really gave me more power to actually loving the game that much more because I was I was in a funk for a minute there, but this update has given me so much. As you can see on the top right side, I have 127 million deal. That's because I worked my butt off since I could do a lot in 2 million missions now. I was 
running through them. As you guys can see here, I maxed out my Federation. I'm now working on my Klingon, about 4.2 mil on them. I am working my butt off. This is a, this update gave me a newfound vigor for the game. It was a whole game changer for me. All right, guys, remember to like, favorite, subscribe. There's a Discord link down below if you want to join my Discord. And remember, always stay positive, people. Just be happy. Enjoy the game because it got a lot better. Peace out, guys. Have a wonderful day.